November 12th, 2020 review. Complete the ratio table using the following ratio comparison statement. So, this statement says for every two adults, there are, oops, I should have a comment. For every two adults, there are nine students. So, we have two adults to nine students. So, adults for two adults, there are nine students. So, there we go. For every two adults, there's nine students. All right, now we need to figure out how to fill out this table. So remember yesterday how we were looking with our, I mean, I guess they look kind of like spaghetti noodles or like french fries or something. Um, we used these to go um, from part to part over here. So when to find our equivalent ratios and to finish our tables. We can also take a look at um, if there is a comparison between the two going across the middle of the table. So can we get from 2 to 9 any, any um, whoa, any easy, like in an easy way, 2 times anything whole number equals 9? Not quite. So what about if we take a look here, 9 to this 54, how do we get from this 9 to 54? We can look at it that way. So if I use my little spaghetti noodles over here, whoop, wrong thing. Oh, I see. Whoa. All right, if I take my, oh, I see, I see. Okay, so if I take my little spaghetti noodle and I have it there and I also put it over here to show us, come on, spaghetti noodle. All right, so. Um, 9 times what equals 54? Well, I know that 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 5 is 45, almost. What about 9 times 6? That's 54. So we're going to multiply by 6. So whatever we multiply by here, we must do to the other side. So whatever you do to the top, you must do to the bottom. Whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So in this case, we said, okay, you multiply by 6. So now from 2... We're going to multiply by 6, so 2 times 6 is going to be 12. 2 times 6 is 12. So that's it for the first part. Let's take a look at how we get from 9 to 81. So if we go to the next part here, let's move this, make it a little bigger. All right. 9 to get to 81. So we have this blank right here, and this one's filled in. We're going to compare 2 to 9 and blank to 81. So 9 times what is 81? Ooh, I know 9 times 9 is 81. So I'm going to put 9 times 9 here. So now on this side, whatever you do right here, you must do to the other side. So 2 times 9, follow that rainbow, 2 times 9 is 18. Look at this. We're filling in our table pretty quickly. All right, now let's see. Let's go to the next one. So we're going to go to our next one here. We're going to go maybe, maybe not. Ah, why won't it drag? There we go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That took a long time. All right, so, oh, okay, there we go. All right, so now we have 9 times, oh, we don't have a number in this box. So we're looking at these two. So 2 times what equals 22? Oh, we can do that. So how do you get from 2 to 22? We can multiply by 11 because 2 times 11 is 22, right? So if we multiply by 11 on that side, we've got to multiply by 11 on this side. So 9 times 11 is going to be 99. Woohoo! All right, let's extend our noodle here. Maybe if it wants to this time, that would be wonderful. <laughs> All right, come on, noodle. There we go. Okay, so nine times. Oh, we have another missing one here. So we're comparing down here and up here. So two times what equals 30? Ooh, I know 2 times 15 is 30. 2 times 15. So 2 times 15 is 30. So what you do to that side, you must do to the other side. So um, 
9 times 15. Well, let's do 9 times 15 here. So let's move this over here. Um, so I'm going to do 9 times 15. Whoa! My bad. Here you go. 9 times 15. I know that 9 times 5 is 45. And then I know that... I'm going to draw a little line here. Then I know that 9 times 1 is 9, plus 4 is 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. So, ah, 1 and 3. So, 9 times 15 is going to be 135. Whoa. We're doing pretty good, you guys. We're doing pretty good. We can do it. Almost done. One more. All right, now um, we're going to take a look at that last part. So if I take this and I drag this down here, maybe. There we go. And then we're going to take this and drag it down here. All right, now we're going to compare this to the other side of the rainbow, which is this one. So this row to this row. 9 times what is 162? Well, I don't know, so I need to divide, actually. Um, so what I'm going to do is take, okay, 162 divided by 9. So I'm going to have 162 divided by 9. If I go to on the side, if I do 162 woo, divided by 9, 162. Divided by 9, put my little division bar here, there we go, let's make it a little bigger, alright, so if I have this, there we go, perfect, alright, so 9 can go into 16 just one time, um, 9 times 1 is 9, so 16 minus 9 is going to be, well, I know that 16 minus 9 is going, here we go. There we go. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, which is 7. It's going to be 7. Um, then bring down that 2. So then 72. I know that 9 times 8 is 72. And then when you multiply 9 times 8, you get 72. And then you have no remainders. Um, so when you subtract that, you get... Oops. Sure. When you subtract that, you get 0 as your remainder. Alright, so then our answer is indeed 18 here. So 9 times 18. All right, so 9 times 18. Now we're going to have to do 2 times 18. All right, here we go. So 2 times 18. Let's take a look. Well, 2 times 18, I know that's 36. So I am going to write down 36. And that is finally it for our review. Great job. Don't stress if you don't get this fully yet. We're still going to do practice all next week. Um, but awesome job. I'm very proud of you. And keep up the great work. Great job.